Alright guys, I wanted to post up a real short video for two reasons. One, I wanted to put more grease on the spindles, but two, I want you to look at these shoes. If you notice, the shoe in my hand has a lot more meat than the shoe on the car. And the issue was I had put both small shoes on this side and both big shoes on that side. The way it's supposed to go is the big shoe's supposed to be in the back. If I had done this immediately taken the old shoes off and put the new shoes on I probably would have caught it um, but I'm not that as familiar with drum brakes and with disc brakes so I definitely learned something um, it was actually on the uh, the ham they pointed that out and I was like oh well you learn something every day so there it is so small in the front and big in the back uh, Fender 1325 on the jalopy journal actually said um, fat girl rides in the back and that's a real easy way to remember which shoe goes where so um, I also wanted to show you guys that. So, what that's supposed to do, that's supposed to ride right here. But if you notice, it spins. So, I was like, man, I don't know where I'm going to find that part. But you know what? They're at O'Reilly's for like $1.50. So, I went and got one for each side. Um, but I believe this happened whenever the uh, bearings went out. And they didn't replace it, just like they didn't replace the, the spindle. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. I just wanted to show you guys that... Uh, that fact, so maybe you'll save one of you guys some trouble in the future. So thanks for watching, guys.